Hi y'all, I'm Tom, ND3N, just like it says on the hat, and this video is going to give you HF radios that cost under a thousand dollars. Now I set some ground rules for myself. First, I did not consider any current discounts or rebates in this cost, but only used the manufacturer's suggested retail price. Most retailers will offer discounts and pass along rebates from the manufacturers. This means that there is a good possibility that, for example, a radio with an MSRP of a bit over a thousand will actually cost less than a thousand once you figure in those uh, discounts and rebates. Now do your own shopping around and find your best deal. The next rule I set for myself was that the manufacturer had to have a good history. Yes, there are other manufacturers out there who are selling HF radios. However, they've not been in the business of ham radio very long compared to other manufacturers. And they just don't have a track record to be able to compare reliability capability and engineering. So they didn't make my list. Sorry about that, but please feel free to add your comments to the video description below and let us know if you have one of these radios that didn't make my list. Tell us what you think of it. My final ground rule is that I did not include any accessories like power supplies, external sound cards, or keyers. Uh, these will be an extra cost, but you'll need to consider in your research. I did mention for each radio covered what the power requirement was and whether or not they had an internal keyer and an internal sound card. Now before we move on to the radios, I'll let you know, I'm not endorsing any of these rigs. They will all get you on the air, and to be fair, the person on the other end of the call doesn't know if you're using a radio that cost thousands or hundreds. I'm gonna give you the information and the resources down in the description to make your own comparisons and decisions. Really, Anything you come up with is great by me. Just get on the air. I've sorted these starting the lowest MSRP. So without further ado, let's get started on the list. The first radio is an Alenco DXSR8T, which is listed for, are you ready? $479.95. The DXSR8T covers 160 to 10 meters in SSB, CW, AM, and FM. The transmitter delivers 100 watts in SSB, CW, and FM. Output power is 40 watts on AM. Other features include IF shift, memories, uh, band and memory scanning, uh, attenuation, preamp, uh, receive incremental control, transmit incremental shift, IF shift, and uh, noise blanking. It has a built-in 500 hertz CW uh, filter. This radio does not include a built-in sound card, so, and this will go for all of those uh, things, uh, radios that don't have internal sound cards, so rather than repeat myself, listen to it first this time. Uh, so, if you want to do any of those sound card modes, such as FT8, PSK, and AFSK RIDI, you'll need to have an external sound card. Now, I strongly recommend the Signal Link USB by Tigertronics, uh, and make sure you get the appropriate connecting cable that goes uh, with it. In this case, on the uh, on the Elenco radio, you want to get the one that goes into the microphone input. Uh, I've added a link to the Signal Link USB to the description below, and you can expect that it will cost around $120. It does have a uh, capability for frequency shift keying, that's a, a form of RIDI, uh, but you'll need to buy or manufacture an external interface to your computer, which of course will be an additional cost. 
The DXSR8T does have a built-in CW keyer for either straight key or paddle. This radio will not allow you to connect your, radio, uh, connect your computer for CAT uh, the, uh, control, computer assisted uh, tuning controls and it doesn't have an internal antenna tuner. So an external, external tuner will be needed uh, to be added to your shopping cart. <clears throat> this rig draws a maximum of 20 amps in current, so you'll need a power supply rated at at least 25 amps. Uh, I've got a video titled "How to Pick Up uh, Your Pick Your Power Supply," which I will link in the video description. The next rig we're going to look at is the ICOM IC718 which has an MSRP of $617.95. It's funny how all of these end in 95 cents. The IC718 transmits on all HF bands from 160 to 10 with an output power between 2 and 100 watts on SSB, CW, and RIDI. On AM, the output power is between 2 and 35 watts. It has a front-facing speaker, a DSP noise reduction, automatic notch filter, IF shift, microphone compression, and Vox. It does not have a built-in antenna tuner or a built-in sound card, so you'll need external devices if you want to use sound card modes or tune your antenna from your shack. The radio will do FSK ready, as mentioned above, but it will require an external interface between the computer and the radio. You can do computer control, or CAT, with this rig using ICOM's proprietary CI-V interface. That's also an additional cost. The rig has the capability for installing IF filters at an additional cost. Uh, it does have a built-in CW keyer and a max current draw of 20 amps, which will require uh, a power supply rated at a minimum of 25 amps. Now we introduce the AT, uh, Yesu FT891, which has a list price of $639.95. The frequency range is from 160 to 10 meters, plus coverage of the 6 meter band as well. It transmits using SSB, CW, FM, and AM with an output power on SSB and FM uh, from adjustable from 5 to 100 watts and an AM output power of 5 to 25 watts. It does not have an internal sound card, but it does have an internal CW keyer. The radio was designed to be used in a mobile environment, but it could easily be used in your shack. It has uh, multiple DSP, and by the way, that's digital signal processing capabilities, including uh, uh, shift, notch filtering, and so on. It also comes with a 3 kilohertz roofing filter standard. It has a serial port that you can use for computer control of this particular rig. The maximum current draw is 23 amps, so I would recommend a power supply rated at 30 for this one. Uh, the ASU FT818ND has an MSRP of $649.95. Now this is a QRP radio meant for low power transmissions. It transmits on the 160 through 10 meter bands, plus 6 meters, 2 meters, and the 70 centimeter band. Output power is 6 watts for SSB, CW, and FM modes, and 2 watts for AM. It has an internal CW keyer, but does not have an internal antenna tuner. Neither does it have an internal sound card. However, external devices can be purchased at an additional cost. The maximum current draw is 2.7 amps and is intended to be used with the provided battery pack. However, it can be plugged into a power supply with the optional DC cable, also additional cost, but it's the, pretty much the same cable used by most Yesu handhelds. 
Moving on, we have an American manufacturer. Uh, Elecraft has the KX2. Now this is a very small rig, but it is feature packed. It'll run you $899 and 95 cents. The radio transmits on 80 through 10 meters with an output power of on 80 through 15 at 12 watts and 12 and 10 meters at 8 watts. It has a 32-bit DSP uh, which uh, provides user programmable filter bandwidths, noise blanking, noise reduction, and auto notch. It operates in SSB, CW, FM, AM, and data modes. RIDI and PSK data modes are built in, so there's no PC needed, as well as a memory keyer and digital voice recorder for transmit. It has an internal log where you can log CW and data contacts and download it, those to a computer later on. It does have a built-in antenna tuner that they advertise as being able to tune up to a 20 to 1 mismatch. That's impressive. Uh, now, this is a specialty rig that is meant for hams who enjoy remote operations. The rig includes a built-in 2.3 amp hour battery and draws a maximum of 2 amps of power during transmit. Given the expected duty cycle of the radio, you could probably expect to uh, have six to eight hours of operations without recharging the battery. However, Elcraft does offer a 100 watt amplifier for home shack use. Also from Elcraft, the K2 is a kit radio that you put together yourself. Now it comes with a great uh, instruction manual, uh, I've been told color pictures and also a phone number that you can call so you can talk if there's any problem building this thing you can talk to the guys back at the factory and they'll be more than happy to talk you through any any questions you might have. The price tag is uh, $969.95 uh, and that's for the base radio with CW mode only and transmit bands from 80 to 10 meters. For additional cost, you can add SSB, uh, you can add digital modes, you can add 160 meters, you can add an internal antenna tuner, an internal 100 watt amplifier, and an internal battery for remote operations. It's kind of a Chinese menu sort of thing. Now, that's the list of HF radios from established companies available to you. I've included a lot of notes and links in the video descriptions so you can go down and do your own research and compare and contrast between these radios to find the best one for you. In the next couple weeks, I'll be putting out three more videos of radios from 1,000 to 2,000, 2,000 to 4,000, and over $4,000. Uh, please subscribe to my channel and ring the notification bell. She'll be, you'll be one of the first to see when these videos are published and to be able to see all of my videos in one convenient spot. Don't forget, likes are free and only takes a moment of your time to click on that thumbs up icon. Please uh, share this content with others who may be looking for a new rig under $1,000. Uh, that way you won't have to go on to the aftermarket. By the way, I will be releasing a video on how to shop the aftermarket as well. Now, once you purchase a radio, please leave a comment below and share what you got uh, yourself with, with everyone. As always, at your service, I'm Tom, ND3N, just like it says on the hat. And thanks for dropping by my little shack in the corner for a ham shack chat. 7-3 for now. I'm out.